Hi you guys, and thanks for stopping by. Today's tutorial is for the Disney live-action movie Cinderella. There are a couple simple but cute hairstyles worn by Cinderella in this movie, so I'll show you how to do each one. This first style is worn by Cinderella at home, and features two French braids in wavy hair. I personally think it's a great one for everyday wear. So get the waves if you want, either through day old curls or sleeping in braids, and then make a moderate side part on the left side of your forehead like I have here. Next, grab a section of hair from the right side of the part and split it into three strands. To begin French braiding, bring the forward strand over the middle one so that it becomes the new middle. Then bring the behind strand over the middle as well. It's time to weave the forward strand again, but before you do, add some free hanging hair from your hairline to this strand. Then weave it over. For the back strand, also add in some free hanging hair from just behind the forming braid and then weave over the middle. Repeat this braiding pattern down the side of your head until you reach your ear. At that point, start doing a French lace braid directly backwards, horizontally across the back of your head. A French lace is just the same as a normal French braid, except you only add in hair to one side of the braid. In this case, add in hair to the top of the braid. Make this part a bit tight so that it doesn't sag later. Continue French lace braiding until you reach about the middle of the back of your head. At this point, finish the braid to the ends normally without adding in any hair. Before you tie off the end of the braid, go back up to the top and pull on the sides of the braid a little to give it a looser, more relaxed look like Cinderella has. This is called pancaking or fluffing the braid. It's a pretty trendy technique right now. I don't typically do this, but in this case it helps achieve the Cinderella look by faking a bit more hair volume. Having waves in your hair makes this look even better. Also fluff the length of the braid like this. I avoid fluffing the French lace section because otherwise the braid sags down, but if you want to fluff it or the braid is still sagging, you can pin it to the back of your head with a couple hidden bobby pins by pushing them in underneath the braid and crossing them in an X shape. When your braid is as fluffy as you'd like, rebraid the ends of the braid that may have come apart while you were doing this, and then tie off with a small hair elastic. On the other side of your head, again collect a section of hair, split into three parts, and French braid down the side of your head. Once you reach just above your ear, stop adding in any hair and braid to the ends. Fluff this braid and also tie it off with a small hair elastic. And here's a shot of the finished hairstyle. This second hairstyle is what Cinderella wears to the ball. This looks best in soft curly hair, so prep the style by curling your hair with heat rollers, a curling iron, or Velcro no heat rollers, 
and then gently combing through with a wide tooth comb. Even people with textured natural hair can curl their hair like this to get large polished curls. My curls aren't that great right now because I have long heavy hair and I did them really quick for this video. So if that's your struggle too, I recommend trying some setting lotion and either sleeping overnight in your curlers or using a curling iron. When you have your hair as you like it, part it down the center. Then section off a strip of hair along your hairline running from your part to your ear that is about an inch and a half wide from front to back. Make an identical section on the other side of your head and then tie these below your chin and out of the way for now. Next, grab a section of hair from behind your ear to make the headband rope braids. If your hair is on the thinner side, grab a larger section since these braids are large and thick on Cinderella. Comb this section up and forward and then split into two halves. To rope braid these sections, twist one half clockwise a few times, then twist it and the other half together 180 degrees counterclockwise like this. Now also twist the second half clockwise a few times, and then twist the two halves together counterclockwise. Repeat this pattern up the length of the hair. If your rope braid tends to fall apart or blend together, try to make the twists tighter, and remember to twist the strands together in the opposite direction that you twisted the individual strands. As you braid, hold the braid over the top of your head and stop once you reach a couple centimeters above your opposite ear. At that point, tie off the braid with a small elastic. Repeat on the other side of your head by grabbing a section of hair from behind your ear, combing up and forward, splitting in half, and rope braiding over the top of your head until you reach a couple centimeters above your ear. Then finish the braid with a small elastic. Now drape these braids over the top of your head in a headband position and pin them down with bobby pins. If you're pinning them on top of your head, do your best to hide the pins, but on the sides of your head you don't need to be as careful because we'll cover these pins with hair in a second. Next, untie the hairline sections from beneath your chin. Comb them smooth, and then twist them up a few times so that the twisted part lands just behind your pinned braids on the side of your head. With a few bobby pins, pin the twist down. The tricky part is to get the bobby pins to hide, so I suggest doing this closely and slowly in front of a mirror and pushing the pins underneath from above like you're inserting them into a tube that your twist creates. Comb, twist, and pin the other hairline section as well, so that it's the mirror image of the first one. Once you're done, the hairstyle is complete and looks a little something like this. Thanks for watching this tutorial and have fun styling!